Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. Today we are in Wales, just slash. Out. Yeah, just on the borders of England and Wales. Slash. Slash England, oh. I would say. England slash Wales, yeah. I understand you now. Not like you're gonna like slip a slash. throat or something. Oh yeah, well you always have a slash before we come to these places. Like the territory. <laughs> he doesn't do them in the places generally, he does no. them out on the street. Not just like hedge. yeah. I want to shut up. So yeah, we are in a little cottage and I do like little cottages like this because it's got all the little bits of things and stuff. Cottage stuff. slash farm. Yeah, actually it's not that little. It's, it's quite big to be fair. The whole land of it is huge, but the rooms are like quite small, little. Quaint. Yeah, and full of stuff. And we always like looking through stuff. Stuff. But it's got that personal sadness again. again always feel the same in these places so anyway I'm gonna, i don't really know much about it i don't i know one thing about it but that's all down to one thing that's on up in there but other than that i know nothing about it so we'll have to go and discover with you and see what we can find see you in a minute so we're starting off in in the kitchen there's not as much stuff in here as i expected but there's, there's just weird stuff look why would you have your razor in kitchen it's a bit odd isn't it Philly shave. I think I had that. I had exactly that same one when I was younger. I think everybody had Philly shave razors. They always did, didn't they? Yeah. That was the main brand, weren't it then? That's quite old though, that cooker, isn't it? So we got to, what's that? It's just like a hot plate. It's like a hot, yeah, hot plate. Belling. I've heard of Belling. Belling's been going for years. Yeah, but look at the style of that. I don't know what era I would even put that in. 60s, 60s? maybe, yeah. I would say 60s. Oh, do you want some port? There's almost a full bottle of port there. I've got some brandy to go with it. I've got some gin. What do you mean brandy to go with it? Brandy and port, it's good for upset stomachs. Is it really? Yeah, I got hooked on it. I like, you You used to be an alcoholic, I am convinced of this, that at some point you've been an alcoholic in I, your I'd life. I had upset stomach and I used to go from, I used to work with a, a pub literally about 15 yards across the road. We was going after shift and I had upset stomach. And the landlord said, have a brandy and port, that'll set you down. And that will it. <laughs> I've gone. I have, yeah, oh, what's really? port and, um, is it WKD? Is Cheeky Vimto? Oh, or no. port and something's I'm Cheeky Vimto. I'm not into Vimto. these modern bloody things, isn't it? Oh, sure. That were me. That you? That were my arse. Oh. It's just these looking here, these spoons. Bit spooning. Yeah, we're up my arse. Bit spooning up my arse. What you found? What are you reading? So dear Colin, sometime this last weekend, around the 17th of September, a group of boys, some primary school age, some high school age, 14 years in age, have been into the pigs and brought out numerous old tools, forks, spade, etc. Been on the rob. <laughs> Nicking tools. Or shagging pigs. One or other, I'm not quite sure. Oh, look, I wonder if that's her that, that's written it. That's my mum. <laughs> Does your mum either live in any of these places or own all the stuff in here? I just think my mum's a Roman gypsy. Just been round everywhere? Yeah, slab. <laughs> the old slap. You can't say that. Have you seen the old beams? Are they original beams or are they showpiece beams? No, these will be original. I think they are, that aren't they? Definitely. Solid, big solid pieces of wood. Very odd shaped room there. Look at, that, look at that fire. I, I like... Oh. What is, what is this? It? What is this? Why is there that little room in there? I don't think there's anything in it. But don't you think it's odd? It's just got hooks in it, like for coats. Yeah, but what? Next step, fire? Keep them warm. Dry them out. But why would you have a curtain? Keep it looking tidy. <sighs> don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, my dear. But then look as well. This little, oh, I like it in here. What we got in here? Some tapes. Ink, proper quill ink as well. Is it? Yeah. Parker permanent turquoise ink. Turquoise? Who writes in bloody turquoise? <laughs> oh. Black and blue when I was a kid. Look, look, looky, look. Look, look, look at them. Friend. Right, he, he's got a look of you. He's got a really long head. And he's got a big nose. Like, oh, cooked nose. 
pretty hurt for you, aren't you? I'm not. Look at him. He's a he's a quite a distinguished gentleman. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I couldn't think of the word, but yeah, he is. With a high forehead and a big nose. <laughs> Your forehead keeps on going and going and going. I'm just going wide parting. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But yeah, she. I don't think they match. In fact, come here. I mean, don't think they match. Do you know who he reminds me of? If you put a pair of glasses on him, gave him slightly ginger hair, and put him in a postman uniform, it's postman Pat. But his white, right, his neck and his head are so thin, and then his wife's neck and head are really, really round. Right. Yeah, it's like the the polar opposites. So it's the opposites attract. I know. They're both good-looking people. He doesn't look very tall, though. Do you think? Looks, she looks taller than him. Yeah, she sat down. Do you think but... that's the start of the new craze with curtains? What? But his hair, because he's got his. Oh, they went through stages of of having curtains, having curtains and stuff though. But that's like swished swished back though. That got some brill cream on that. Do you think you know the background on that? Yeah. There's like a big pillar yeah. and a nice window. Do you think it's a screen? Yeah, it's fake. It, I don't. Th yeah, because if you look at the base there, look. They used to put the big screens in the background when you went to like Bridlington or Blackpool and places like that, didn't they? Yeah. So, and that probably the, that there will have been the person that took the photo. But I do like things like that. It's oh, interesting. Oh, what, in the chimney? Yeah. Oh, not the chimney, because that's the chimney. Oh Lord, no, it is the chimney. I wondered why we got all these sticks down here. Oh my God. Look at it up there. So there's a bird being nesting in here, and then at some point it's yeah, just gone. The ostrich was sorry, but it sticks. You do know that ostriches are birds, though, don't you? You say, oh, bird, bird, more Big like an bird. ostrich. Well, look at the freaky dolls there, they're all of her. I've noticed a few so far. Look, look at these ones in here. Look at you. You need to stop watching Casper's Eye. Casper look at Casper's you. Beside. Look at you. Look at them now. The ugly bastards. They are freaky though, aren't they? Imagine them. You waking up in the middle of the night and they're looking at you. That one back's looking at me. <sighs> got eyes on it. It's pouting as well. It is. So it's like, come to me. <laughs> oh, that was creepy with finger in background as well. I don't even... Bum at the bum. I knew you were going to say something like that. I couldn't have lived in here. Because this would have done my absolute boxing. <laughs> you stand next to that. <laughs> Where it is an at. But I would, I would literally walk into that every five seconds. Would, yeah. What's on that chain? Hey, up, look at that. What is it? Is it a proper penny? Or coins, shall I say? I don't know if it's. I think I don't know if it. I think it may be a fake reproduction, but it looks like George the Third. Or James the something. Wait a minute. 1789, so it would have been George, one of the Georges. Mm. I'm not sure Could which. Real, then. I don't think it is, because why would it have a bust on both sides? It, it just doesn't seem quite right. Got some. Quite a bit of weight to it, though. I'll we'll have a look at it in a minute. Yeah, I'll look at that in a minute. I know they did make like fake trading tokens, and because you could get like a, a gold guinea type thing with a double head on it and i think it may be a what when you said that all, all i can imagine then we're, we're a gold guinea pig with two heads <laughs> you fucking idiot it's not coming to your head like yeah. can you get conjoined guinea pigs well i know you can glue them together with super glue you know down devon yeah there's the Jamaica Inn. Have you heard of the Jamaica yes. Inn? They used to have like a museum in Jamaica Inn where... They still do, don't they? I don't know where they had all the oddities though, like children's brains and things like that. It was really weird. We'll end up in there, you know. Mm, probably will. But there were, I remember there were a lamb in there with two heads. Love so there's, it. Yeah, so there's obviously conjoined lambs. It's all deformed stuff, isn't it? It's just like yeah. from Chernobyl. Yeah, I, I think as an animal though, you probably wouldn't survive if you were conjoined. No. Whereas You're scrapping we 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 are selling, wouldn't you, for food? <laughs> Get out of my way, you bastard! <laughs> Mine. <laughs> right, so I am ridiculously stupid. I've just realised that's George Washington. It's not one of the Georges. It's it's the it well, it is. It's just the wrong one. It's the right era it's for the, the pond. 
Yeah, right era for George's, but wrong George. Anyway, other room now. Other room. The Jesus, that scared me to death, that thing stood in the corner. That is freaky. Mega freaky. Oh, look at the stuff in here. Oh, there's so much. It's somebody's life, though. Like the first time they went, or one of the family went to Spain and brought them back a donkey. Oh, look at the radio. Trust you to pick up the doll with the legs spread. Not my fault. D dollophilia. Just the way I am. <laughs> what? You're a Just dollophile? Approach, approach anything female and she goes, open the legs. You can't say that. That's awful. But yeah, look. We were talking about these the other week, weren't we? About all the different radio stations. Yeah. Luxembourg, Western, BBC, Scottish, Northern. Um, it was, you know what we were saying about Radio Luxembourg? Somewhere. What? I did your toes. I don't know why it's like, so, like the torch coming that way. It, there's all the mirrors behind you there. Oh, <sighs> don't do that to me. It, we, we were talking about who were on Radio Luxembourg. Yeah. And it were Bobby's mate. Um, was he? Oh, no, not Noel Edmonds. Oh, no, yeah, Noel Edmonds. Yeah, Noel Edmonds. It were him. We were on Radio Luxembourg? I think so. I'm sure I looked at it afterwards and that's who it were. Think, I didn't think Noel I know he's old, but I didn't think it was <laughs> I know he's old. Hey, he lives. where does he live now? Spain or somewhere, it? No, it's somewhere stupid. Oh, it's not stupid. No, it's somewhere like Norway. Was he? I'm sure one of our Patreons has told us that... Oh, no, New Zealand. It's not somewhere stupid. None of these places are stupid places. If you're from there, I'm so sorry. But he lives in New Zealand. One of our subscribers was telling me the other day. I'd love to live in New Zealand. It's the village I'm from. There's another place with the same name there and there's also Sheffield there's also Mexbra, Swinton all places like that in in New Zealand all local to us in the UK I prefer to live in New Zealand than Australia I don't know because it's the same sort of climate as here and it's greener mm. I think yeah it's a bit barren in places in Australia but I do I do like barren? it yeah more than barren Anyway, it's nothing. What, is it a duke then? Yeah, or maybe a Prince Andrew. <laughs> no, can't say that. I know we sent all those criminals there, oh, but I'm dying to send. Oh, I can't. No, don't. I no, know what you're going to say, so I, stop I'm it. Just dying to tell that joke. Which you're is... not telling that joke. Anyway, we're looking down here now. Shh. Yeah. So wherever we go recently, we seem to be coming across Singer sewing machines. What's that? Oh, it's a it's a lady shave by Remington. You could use that on your head. Well, I'm guessing it is. It looks more girly. What do you say? It's a. Well, it's heavier. I'd say it's a leg leg yeah. lady leg shaver. But yeah, you've got the old singer box bit as well. They always used to see save the whole lot together, didn't they? I suppose they used to cover it up cover with it, it though. Up, yeah. Like it was. And I'm going to look, try and look at some of that stuff in there in a minute. But look at that telly. Granada colour. Like one of the first ever British uh, colour TVs to come out, isn't it? Granada that colour TVs. I don't know. I would say 80s, that. I don't mean... I don't mean colour TV didn't come out then. Oh. I'm just saying, I think that's when that telly's from. But I'm not sure. Oh, look at that record. You know what? I bet there's probably money's worth in there. Ghostbusters! No way! What are you going to call? Oh, I'm loving this. What else we got oh. in here? Poppy door. Town Code Malice. Paul Jam. Weller. Um, You'll be 40. You'll be 40. Bloody hell, you've got some taste. That's still in bag. In the original bag from yeah. the shop. What else we got? You were saying they got taste? Not Tina Turner. Tina Bloody Turner. The jam. One ninety nine. That. Wow. The price on it. Creedy must have been the local oh, shop. Double one. Wow. Oh, they're really good. 
I've got to look through these now, sorry. Well, I'm not standing here all this time though, Nina Simone. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby don't care for clothes? My baby just cares for me. <gasps> Doctor and the medics. Never heard of him. Going on up to the spirit. Oh, I have heard of him. That's what I'm having played at my um, funeral. Are you really? Yeah. I'm having Creep by Radiohead. I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. What's that? Stay Madonna. Madonna. Never heard of it. Bangles walk like an Egyptian. I used to have one of these cases as well. For Did my, you really? For my seven inch. <laughs> He's never been seven inch. No. <laughs> twelve. I'm going to fold it in half. <laughs> right, half of twelve is not seven, by the way. Just to let you know. Right, let's have a look on here. Oh, Jesus! What? Some of... Fucking flew in front of me then. I hope that shows up on here. I don't know what it were. It weren't a bat, it weren't a bird. But it fucking flew. Were you playing? <laughs> it was Superman. I don't know what it I hope that shows up on camera. Something shot from up there. Straight across here and out through that door, and it were like little and pink. Shut up with you. I swear down. I'm not, I really hope that shows up on camera. I never saw it. I swear down. Well, when do I shift like that? <laughs> never. You <laughs> bastard. <laughs> what have we got on here? Oh, look at the little baby photo. In fact, it's not a photo, it's a, pa a painting. It's like a painting. It might be a colorized photo, though. You know, like it's been gone over the top. Yeah. What have we got on here? Is that a rent book? Try not to show the thing, but that's a rent book, isn't it? Look at the highway code. Yeah, What's wrong with you now? What happened? Something went down my back. I thought it was like a drip, but it was cold. <laughs> it's the pink thing. The pink thing. It's a flying clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute idiot. Oh, God. That was weird. Oh, look, I've got to be careful here because there's lots of addresses. But 1971 census. That's strange because it's just been it's the census. census. Yeah, yeah. Last, last weekend. So that's 50 Fif years? 40 years. 50. 50. Yeah, 50. 50 years ago. Bloody hell. Can't work it out. Makes you feel old, that, doesn't it? <laughs> feel old? Definitely. Oh, oh, what I was looking at earlier on, talking about music and feeling oh, old. Bands. Yeah, Green Day, 25 years or something like that since they first started up. That's mad. That just makes me feel ridiculously old. Oh, look, this is what we were talking about the other week. What? I can't, they're all in there. Wade figures. Absolutely loads of them, and they are proper Wade as well. Oh, Braille. I thought I saw something else. This over here, this is a... A collectible that I cannot remember what it is, but I remember selling them. Silvac used yeah, to be really, really popular. Just send it back up. Yeah. And now you got your hands full. Yeah, that's it. There's all. Is that a gnome? Is that a scrap? <laughs> lost a nose, lost some eyes. Look at him. John, John Connolly from Birmingham. Birmingham? Burnley. Card clock. Oh, there's all sorts of little bits that I remember from my childhood on here. In fact, there's lots of football things, though. Wrong, wrong spring it from Wednesday. Look. Never heard of him. You've never heard of Ron spring it? One of the most famous Sheffield Wednesday players ever. I don't, oh, do you put smelly things inside that? No. And hang it up inside your wardrobe? Why? Sm put smelly things in, hang it up. Feta cheese. Oh, that's disgusting. Who's that one there? Johnny Haynes from Fulham. I think I know, I recognise that name. You're not a football person though, are you, so? No. Oh, look at the old, oh, it's a really old wood. one. It's a wooden one. Look at the thing on it though, the big crest. Did it say Eubank? Eubank, Eubank Magnum, it says on it. Not made by Chris then. Your jokes are getting worse. I know. The good play thing about this place is there's lots and lots of like little things like, I can't see because of your torch. You're doing a lot of time, man. So that's a little. I just wanted to shine it so you don't have to use that one so you can use it. Well, if fingers. you hold that one, 
that makes sense then. Apart from then you never shine it in right place. Up, up, there we go, that's better. So, oh, this is like, up, up, there you go. So I've got a whistle, so it could be something to do with football. But then I think I've, oh God, my hand looks massive. I think I've seen something to do with what he does, this man. Cubs are great. I don't mean he does Cubs, but I think he's a, he's a scout leader. Scouts, yeah, because I dib, 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 dib. You see, come on in, show us your knob. People say dib, 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 dob, dob, dob. The scouts and cubs don't say that. I don't know. They say, do our best and do your best. Do what, our best what, and what do your said. best. Dib, no. dib, dib, dob, dob, dob. No, it's not. I'm going to fall through this floor in a minute. I'm telling you, something's moving. It's not good. It's the earth. <laughs> but also in here. There's another badge which just looked a bit odd, and I think you'll appreciate this one. You think so? Yeah. Can I, can I keep it? Wait a minute. No. It says, "Is muffin the mule a sexual offence?" <laughs> What's going on? The floor's collapsing under my feet. Get out of this are we in? Are we in? Is there a cellar in here? I haven't seen one. I am. That's really weird. I just feel like I'm. The floor there is really bad. Oh, there's Joyce floor, old not, stamps in here, look. Not Joyce. She never used to live here. What are you talking about? You nah. Joyce. Oh, jo <laughs> That's why I didn't get you. I'm thinking. So Joyce have probably gone. us a bit. Joyce never lived here. That's why I didn't understand. Cause I thought you were just saying. You know, Joyce. I, quit. I just quit. I give in. <laughs> Idiot. I'm gonna tell that joke, and you're gonna keep it in. <sighs> I will keep it in. Just will you? Yeah. Oh okay. great. I'll tell it in a bit then. Oh no! I thought you meant that you've just told. No. Oh no! You're not. I'm not keeping it in. I edit it, so you don't get to say that. Even if you say it, I'll delete it. Oh, I can't win. I can't do it. In fact, you know what? I'll keep it in with no sound. Do have subtitles? No. <laughs> I'll say it slow so that people can lip read. Well, yeah, that's fine. Don't ever do it. Cause I've got a Yorkshire accent and a dodgy. Like mouth, mouth. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're gonna say. What have we got in here? Oh, are these box. Are they bo oh Jesus! Oh, it really that bottle. Are they called box brownies? These. I think they are, aren't they? Box brownies. Oh, cameras, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're really good. Open it up. I don't know how you do it. Oh, look at these as well. Colour snap camera. Oh, and pipes. I love pipes, me. Look, piping. <laughs> oh, you're looking at the... What do you call it? Slides. Yeah. What are they called now? You know the clay pipes from like the 17 and 1800s? Yeah. I like them, me. I've got a little collection of them in my house. The smoking uh, your weed. I don't... Right, I've never done a drug in my life. Love is the drug. Now, this is what I was saying earlier on, look. So I recognise that a mile off. I used to be in the Scouts, it's a Scout top. But I got thrown out of Scouts. Do you want to know what I got thrown out of Scouts for? What were that noise? Did you hear it? Yeah. Like, oh. I heard like an oh, and then like a Yeah. Sound like an old person getting up. That's not just me. Did he hear something? I, I heard it coming from in there. I hope that shows up as well. That was freaky. That was there. Yeah, that was really, really strange. Yeah, I got thrown out of scouts for two things. I went, we went on a camp um, at Esley Wood in Sheffield, and um, in the same night, I put a pint of maggots in someone's tent. And I got three deodorant cans and put them on fire. And Good they lad. blew up and it almost, it like whizzed past my mate's head. <laughs> so I got thrown out of scouts for that. You just went wrong tonight. I was 16 though, so we were about time to leave anyway. No, no excuse. <laughs> no excuse. Don't come out with excuses. Look at this. Time for me to leave, I'm just going to blow everybody up. <laughs> not at all. I remember this. Now, it's not very PC because it's a Robertson's Gully, but... That I remember that hot air balloon. It was quite <laughs> famous, yeah. My one of my relatives in the past used to collect golly badgers when it was okay to do it. Now obviously it's not PC at all. It's not. But anyway. You heard something else? 
I didn't hear that time. Don't know why that was just like a higher pitch noise than before. I just I didn't hear anything that time, but I did. Might, might be me. Definitely the first time. Oh look at these, Westminster Bank credit transfer bank copy. Let's see how much it is there. Oh, that one does. 400, is it 400 quid? Oh, why does it say 411.10? 400 pounds, 11 shillings and 10 pence. So when, what year is that from then? That's going to be pre-decimalisation, which was 1971. 1968, 1968 says it there. There you go. So, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, decimalisation, 1971. Would that be your bank, like a bank slip, so you knew what you paid in? What you've paid in, yeah. I just, it's credit transfer, so is that what that means then? Possibly. I don't know. Oh, oh, that's weird on the back, isn't it? What's it say? Envelope, stop moving it. Harry Ray, Summit, 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 and Summit, Summit. So, let's see if we can see through these. Oh, there we go, look. What's that even? Oh, it's a Christmas tree. Wait a minute. You can just about make that out. It's a Christmas tree. Can you see it? Oh, I can see all colours. Yeah, it's all tinsel on it. What's this one? Oh, people sat around eating food, probably on Christmas. Christmas Day. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's just like, it's weird, because... Like normally when we go in these places, you don't really know what these people look like. You can guess from photos that are on the walls, but they could be relatives. Could be any, anybody that look, can't it? Things like that. You just, it's just a look back into history. I love it. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Let me just, I need to look at those properly for a minute. Just close it and I'll look in a sec. Some more freaky dolls. They like the dolls in here, didn't they? Yeah. It's weird because you look at it and think it's like an old people's house, but then there's loads of strange pandas and dolls and all sorts. Right, I'm just going to spend a second looking through this. Right, I'm not going to go through all of this because there's absolutely loads from, but look at these. I don't know. She's wearing a bowler hat. It's got to be some years old, that one, right? No, but it's a woman wearing a bowler hat. I suppose it's, is it horse, horse people? Horsey. Yeah. It's these, look. I don't know if that's, that looks like late 1800s, that to me. Yeah, like Fuse Elias? Yeah. You know, with the like feathery bit on the hat? Yeah. And then you've got, is it, a, is it the Gurkhas with the big furry bearskin hats? I want to say Gurkhas. Well, like Coldstream Guards, isn't it? Oh, skin. Is it? I, I always get them mixed up, them. I don't know where that is. That, I'm not sure if that's round here or not. An old horse. What else we got? Yeah, another one. These are definitely either very early 1900s or, or 1800s, because just look at them. God, he's a bit of a portly one. That's like me with a big tash. Yeah, they definitely like the horses. They're into the horses around here. More of them. He's got a big feather on his hat. Massive, big, like, is it an ostrich feather or whatever on his hat? That's usually... I can't see it from here. No, but like a big plume across mm. his head. That's usually um, older, isn't it? Don't, look, can you see it there? Yeah. Look at the... Look, at, they look like police. They look like police or firemen. Yeah, I wouldn't say they are... Um, Oh, like like, police, aren't they? these are look wait. They're army, I think. 
looking at them. Yeah, that's like an army uniform. Because they've got like stripes and stuff. I don't know if you do you would do then. But they definitely look like firemen or, or police, sorry. What have we got next? Yeah, look more. Where is that? Amazing place. But it's confusing because he's got the big hat. Big bear skin. Yeah. But then some of these, I don't know. Oh, they're all smoking the pipes though. Can't really see it because it's shine. What is that? It's like a bear. It's like a fake polar bear. Hey, up. Is that bath? It's like bath, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it is bath. Oh, that's really good. That was somebody in a bear suit. It is, it's somebody in a bear suit. That's like Victorian era, looking at that little boy there all dressed up with a fake bear man. This is an interesting one. Look at that. That's the fourth road bridge in Scotland being built in 1888. And look, another one there with even less of it. That's mad. I, I, I drive past the fourth road bridge every single year and to see it being built right back then, that's that's crazy. I love this, I'd, I would love to keep this. Obviously I can't, but I would love to. There's absolutely loads and loads in this book and I, I wanna show it you all, but it literally will be boring after a bit. But this is fantastic. Sent from Buckingham Palace by King George. Is It's the King, it's the Queen's dad, isn't it, this one, is it? Oh no, it's yeah. not. It's the one before, isn't it? Yeah. I always get mixed up because they all change names as well. So it's Edward, Queen's dad. It's like George, Edward, George, or Edward, George. We have had this conversation yeah, before. Yeah, we have. I always get them mixed up, me. I, I can never remember which way around it is. But that is brilliant. Fantastic. I'm deleting that, though. Oh, I know. And there's a couple more. I, I didn't know whether to show you. That's Robbie Burns. So they've got some sort of Scottish connection as well. But then there's these, look. So, he who uh, this scroll commemorates was numbered amongst those who, at the call of the king and country, fell. But yeah, it gives the names of the uh, people South Wales borderers. It's it's sad, isn't it, really? It's really sad that it's just been left like that. Like, just to... It's going to go to rack and ruin him. Exactly, and, and lost from history forever. Hopefully we can sort of show it at least. Right, let's keep going. These are like we saw before, look. In lovely, lovely memory of Thomas Jones, um, who departed this life 19th of September, 1920. So that's 101 year ago. But we found those before, haven't we? The uh, little yeah. commemorative things. Oh, 1992, Woman Magazine. Only well, thing I'm gonna say is, what? If he died in 1920, he looked well. What do you mean? Tom Jones. <laughs> Not even thought. <laughs> to be fair, he doesn't look well. Have you seen him? He's a right wrinkly weird mess. Yes, I, don't, I don't care, to be honest with you. I don't like Tom Jones. I've never really liked Tom Jones. Okay. No. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh, what are you doing? Knife throwing act and practising. <laughs> You're trying to kill Rocky? Eh? Oh, it's a little wee thing, look. No. It's not a it's not a gazunda because that's the big thing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, what you know what you're about. A gazunda. It was a good. A gazunda bed. bed. No, I mean... that's honestly what they've already called them. I'm not just making it up. Just made it, just made it up. It's like a bedpan's a gazunda, isn't it? But they're like the men wee wee ones. Yeah. So he's spitting for you, tramp. Sorry, got something in the mouth. Obviously. Is this the hat from the woman? No, because that was a bowler hat. That's a top, oh, hat. top hat. It looks like a lady's top hat, though. It might fit your... Oh, no, it says Colin, Colin. inside it. It might fit your bonds. It's a bit small for you. Yeah. Although I think they did sort of sit quite high on your head, though, didn't they, anyway? Yeah, they didn't really squash on, did they? No. It does look a bit bizarre. But Again, they used to wear them for the question type thing. Yeah. They? Look at her. Down here, a little lady set. This is ridiculous how low this is. I'm doing what's it called when you bend backwards? Limbo. Yeah, that's it. And I can't get round because me. Well, why don't you go this yeah. way? Go this way instead. It's the same. 
Oh no, it's not the same room. Yeah. Oh, look at all the things in here. Oh, talking about gollies. The full size golly in here. Yeah. Look at this. Pictures and all sorts in here. Yeah. Oh, what's that album? That album looks good. Look at the picnic set. Everybody used to have those picnic sets, didn't they? Oh, stuff missing out of it. Yeah. They're not worth anything these days, but. But they're nice, though, aren't they? Mm. It's nice to have. Oh, they're like. Oh. Like cigarette cards. Yeah, they're worth money as well. Is it postcards and cigarette cards? Or, or one or other? One or other. They're both generally worth money if they're Victorian ones. Oh. Be careful, it's falling to bits. Yeah, be careful. What we've got down in this corner, it's like lots of old books. What's that say? Oh, look. Great events of the Royal Year, 1953. Is it? I know this guy. Oh yeah, Typhoon T. George Best. One football I do now. Yeah. He were a bad one though, weren't he? Big drink problem, didn't he? Drink problem, women problem. Women are, drugs. Yeah, pretty much everything, everything you could do. I've just noticed this. Now this room is almost impossible to get into. Do you remember Watch with Mother? That sixties. I think it's before me, but I know what it is. Weren't that called parsley? That that That's lion? lion? Yeah. I don't remember what any of the other characters oh, were called. The one with the, with the heart, dog. Is that Hector's house? I, I don't know. It just says, a Chad Valley. Um, give a show projector. Oh, it's a projector. Yeah. Watch with mother. I'd, I'd just watch with... Oh, you know what I'm thinking of as well? There Was there a listen with Mother on the radio? Are you sitting comfortably? And we shall begin. I used to listen to that with my mum when I was tiny. Yeah, I think that was the radio bit, weren't it? Yeah, and it's that's just brought back a memory that I'd totally forgotten. It's made me a bit emotional, that. Honestly, it has. Oh, I love you, Mum. Anyway... Yeah, as you can see, it's just absolutely rammed with stuff. I don't know why they've partitioned it off. It's really odd. They've probably just had two big bedrooms. I wonder if they've had three kids in here or something. Do you know what I mean? And they've just given them their own space. Yeah. And then afterwards, all this stuff's just been shoved in later. Because there does seem to be... Look, Magic Robot. Magic... Was it the Amazing... The amazing, amazing magic robot always gives the right answer. What are you about nappies? That box there, George, baby nappies. So that's not that old, is it? Oh, no, I don't big know where you're box. looking. Big oh, box. yeah, yeah. Yeah, George of Asda has only been probably, I don't know, I bet it's 20 years. George of Asda, 15, 20 years. No. I bet it has. I bet it's longer than you think it is. So it's longer than that. Oh, do you? Oh, you yeah. think it's older than that? Yeah, I, I worked for Asda in 1990 and George was out then. Oh, was it really? Yeah. I think I, I was think. probably just aware of it. I'm not sure. What's this as well? I can't... Just don't torch for me, a minute for me. What is this? It's just odd. It's like he's had a drink in it. Yeah. I don't... But why would you have a, a big pottery thing? Like, you're not going to carry it around with you and have a drink, are you? That's what it looks like, right? It's heavy. It's really heavy. It's like a pretend handbag. Yeah. It's like the old old style. We women take the handbags out now with a little miniature in it. Yeah. Instead, it's Instead just the it's whole... Just a whole bag. Yeah. I think that pottery mum and dad had that pottery as well with the... Whatever they are on it. That cornflakes box is pretty old as well. It's just so much stuff. I wish I could just spend a full day just rooting through all this. Is that in the corner? Oh, I don't know. It's like a toilet. It does look like a toilet, doesn't it? Like, with, like an old compost seat. toilet. Yeah, it's really odd. Oh, I've got all these things in here. Meat skewer. Oh, that's... Um, Di not a diffuser. It's like a tea strainer. Infuser. Infu yeah. But wouldn't you just call it a tea strainer? Yeah. Yeah. What else we got in here? What is that? 
I have no clue what that is. Knife sharpener? Oh yeah, yeah, it probably is. I... Yeah, it looks like it in there. Like. Yeah, it does. I've never used a knife sharpener in my life. My dad so. used to sharpen a knife on step. Did he? Yeah. My dad used to sharpen knives, but I don't know how he did it. I know what that is. We used to have one exactly like that. So what you do is, you jam the big two fork bits into some meat, and then you carve your meat, and that thing there that you've got your thumb on, yeah. held up that other side bit so your knife didn't slip up that. Have you got <laughs> So Henry. <laughs> That's just a pallet knife, but anyway, yeah. should we demonstrate? Yeah, so you'd be cutting it, and it, so it, when you were doing that, it didn't slip up and cut your fingers. Why would it slip up? I don't get it. What do you mean you don't get it? Because if you had nothing there, as you well, like... You, you just cut down though, don't you? It depends how, how well done you've done your meat, if you've absolutely crisped it. Well, if it was my house, it'd be... <laughs> But yeah, that's what that's for, it's to stop cutting your fingers when you're cutting them. I believe because I've never seen one before. I can say my mum definitely used to have one. Oh, that's a little... Old tea strainer. Yeah, it is. Put that in there, put some tea in there, on the cup, pour the hot water in. Yeah, it brings God. back memories though, doesn't it? My mum, again. My mum. It's, it, this place is making me emotional because it's making me think Whenever of things. Whenever I go into places like this, there's always some things in what always reminds me of my mum. Yeah. And like, I think because this is such a wide spectrum as well, it's not just 60s stuff, it's not just 80s stuff, yeah. whatever it is. It's like all the way through. And I recognise things and so do you. Oh, birth do you keep up birthday cards? Lindsay does, I don't. I do. I, I keep them. I keep them all. And I don't really know why, because they're just going to end up somewhere like that and never looked at again, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, God, be careful. Oh, shit, the bed. Roy Orbison. What is wrong with you? Not me. Des, Des O'Connor. Des O'Connor. He's dead, isn't he? Is he the one that made the advert? I, I always get confused. Who's the one that made the advert after you were dead? Oh, you told me about that. I can't remember who it were now. No, I always get mixed up between Des O'Connor and is it... Oh, not Des Dawson. No, not bloody Les Dawson with face. What's he... <laughs> What's he called? He, one of them's died recently. One of them died ages ago. Um, Not Terry Wogan. Other one. Oh, it's going to do my box in that now. They were both like, they were both on TV shows. Both tanned? Yeah. What, what other one called? Oh, please comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. That looks like him a bit. What is he, what is he called? I can't even think what programmes he were on. Before, and I remembered it last time, but I can't remember who it were was. Were he a DJ as well at some point? Which one of them sang as well, didn't they? Oh, so, oh, obviously him. With, Des O'Connor. Yeah. But, oh, but then they were both on game shows, weren't they? Didn't Des O'Connor do game shows at one point or TV programmes? Yeah. But then the other one did as well. But I just can't think what he were called. Oh, it's going to do my boxing yeah, now, that. It'll, it'll come to me. Yeah, probably on the way home like usual. Yeah. Right. So I've just been having a look through some of these things in this CNA bag. I'm just saying we don't think CNA is a thing anymore, but we're not sure. Um, Birmingham Metropole. These people, whoever lived here, had money. I know it's a little farm in the middle of nowhere, but they had money because they've. This is the 1980s. Residential, residential and non residential rates. So they've been staying there. And I would have thought back in the 80s that would have been an half decent. You dirty man. That's usually me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> So yeah, but that will have been quite a big name hotel back then. I don't think it's a hotel. I think. Well, I th why would it have residential rates and non-residential rates if it weren't an hotel? I know it's the National Exhibition Centre, but why would it have rates of what things oh, that, are? That looks like a hotel. Waterpool well, Group of Hotel. Yeah, so it is a hotel. Yeah, so there's that. But then, what else I found in here was... 
found it again, was this. The Ritz, Piccadilly, London. And at first I thought, oh God, is it really old? But then I, I thought, oh, the feel of it is quite new. Looking towards the back with what they're wearing, it's gotta be 80s, 80s. definitely 80s, it surely is. But I think these people have got some serious dollar. And looking on here as well, these are at least, they're all deeds for houses, but they're all different places. So I reckon that they've got property all over. I haven't even looked through the rest of this bag. I bet there's some right stuff in here. Lovely. This, what's this? Conference plan, a professional approach to business meeting, Thistle Hotels. I wonder if, in fact, I wonder if he's got something to do with hotels. Rather than actually going to them, I wonder if he's something to do with them. Strange that he's got a farm. Well, yeah, oh. but maybe that's just his, like, his pastime and this is his job. I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't want to be rustling through stuff while I'm filming anyway. Yeah, so in that same bag is the private hospitality area sample menus. So we think they were something to do with the hotels. It's like you've got all the luncheon menus, but what we were saying a second ago, oh, this is a more expensive one though. Avocado Paris with lemon mayonnaise, Supreme de Volle Monte Carlo, potatoes and summit, peas, croutons, um, and it's £12, which is quite a lot That'd back a in lot. the 80s, isn't it, really? Yeah. But you can tell, compared to the one I read out a minute ago, which I can't find now, but that were like a fiver. That's the same one. But yeah, I think, looking at all these, look, Thistle Hotel conference plans, all the different hotel things, that's what he's got to do with, surely. It's got to be, hasn't it? Not well, whether he's got something to do with hospitality, whether he's just visited. Well, yeah, but why would he have, have samples? that? Like these, I understand. It's places you've been, you've collected places you've been. Mm. That makes no sense. So for me, he's, he's got to have something to do with it. We'll never know, though. But no. it's always good to like find out. Yeah, we've just come back downstairs. Just about to leave. And Andy's found this. Y you're right, it looks like it's never even been like used properly because look at the things inside the yeah. sticks they're all still fastened in that's still fastened in the cellar tape oh my god that's a collector's item that looks like 1960s 70s maybe the one of the original kaplunks in it yeah yeah because it's the uh, that artwork makes me think of like 70s, 70s. what's um da -da 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 -da. that what's that a stupid man singing a song. No, that with that witch with the twitchy nose. Bewitched. Yeah, you know it's like cartoons on that on yeah. the beginning of it. It's the same sort of cartoony type style as then. And a little tea set, but they like kids stuff, aren't no, they? No, this, this is a, a proper one. Oh, it's the same as steel. It's never never been opened. Still, it's all plastic. That's mad. That's impressed me. That though. It's good. That I think that's really really good. I'll put that back. Right, we've made our way outside. But look at this little entranceway. So this is guessing what would have been the main door originally. But look at this, the old seashells. That's Wade, Wade Pottery. Lots and lots of little lamps. A typewriter, which I think is really strange that there's a typewriter outside. Look at these uh, Belfast sinks down here. They're big beefy ones, aren't they? Look at the windows though. Single glazed windows. And old. Yeah. I do like them, but I bet it were freezing in winter. Yeah. That's where we are in this part of the country. Yeah. Now we walked through here earlier on. And it's just all a little bit creepy. Look at that. Little tiny bike. It's like, what's that film with the person on a bike? Shining. Shining, yeah. I ain't seen it, but. That's Look at this. It's really creepy. I'll tell you that. Is that? Oh yeah. Oh, look at it in here. I thought that were a coffin at first. Well, it's not that. It's, uh, it's a piece of furniture. Look at this car. Oh, Andy. Yeah. No way. 
big, can't we? It is. I, I haven't picked it up. Be very careful with it. Oh, oh it's empty. empty. Thank God for that. Oh, but I think it's been emptied out. Be careful, because that's somebody's remains. Don't, don't be messing with it. But yeah, look. That, that's, that's Adam in and it's been emptied back out, hasn't it? At some point. Scattered them. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Look at that telly. What's with the telly control built into the telly? Ah, oh, that's a bit special. Remote. It's me, it's me, don't worry. It's not the coffin. It's not someone coming out of this, this coffin. <laughs> Look at that little car though. It is all just a bit freaky in here, especially now we found that. I can't believe there's somebody's remains there or at least a little tiny bit of somebody's remains. That's absolutely mad. All right, look at it in here. Why do people put their old furniture in like places like this? It's like, wouldn't, people just didn't throw anything away though, did they? You couldn't afford to, could they? No, but why would you keep that in here? I know you buy new and stuff, but... Handy for storage. Moon's really bright tonight as well. Look at these, these barns are just all so rickety and... God, I don't know if I, I trust walking up them. <laughs> Look at the state of those steps. What's in there? Is old floor gone as well though? It's got fallen in there. It's a right thin board. Let me look through here. Oh wow. I didn't expect this to be as much stuff in here. Yeah, it is. It's all fallen through at that back corner, look. It's all tools and everything in this one, but it's it's padlocked. Padlocked so we can't get in. Right, so there is loads of barns and outbuildings. I don't think there's going to be very much in most of them. And a lot of them you can't actually get in. It's all padlocked up, aren't they? Yeah. Which is, which is good, because we don't want people pinching old tools, because tools can be worth quite a bit of money, can't they, really? Yeah. Old ones. But do you reckon... What was that? Is there an horse? Big fucking cow. Fucking hell. We both jumped to shit then. Oh, I've gone proper cold. Definitely when I stood there, I thought, what the hell is that? They must have used part of this farm then. Yeah. Oh, well, at least the fields and stuff. D yeah, this bit here, isn't this where they kill the cows? Might be a slaughterhouse. Yeah, because they get them to go in and then block them in down there, look. Mm -hmm. Might be totally wrong, but that shit me up. Let's get out of here, because I think we're pretty much done anyway. It's only big barns and stuff now. Let's head out of here. Oh, look, it's in the Jeep. Or whatever it is, Land Rover. Yeah, it's an old one. I know that number plate's brilliant if you like your your bombs. Let's get out of here. Right, so I did enjoy. You know what? I really, really enjoy the cottage ones. I just find them really hard to film because there's so many little things to pick up and look at. Hours, you could and not only that as well i've got a torch in one hand and a camera in other hand you ain't got another hand to start picking things up with so then i have to make you hold the ca hold the torch Torches. over top of me it's a right farce but it is it's it's brill it's just well worth the trip it's like you're watching someone's lives though isn't it like you can see from like the 1800s the 19 early 1900s 1950s 1960s as these families sort of progress and some people die, some people are born. You just see it all, don't you? Yeah. And then it's just left. I just, I just... Don't understand it sometimes. No. Surely they must have family. Yeah, but sometimes people don't, or sometimes they move away. Like live in Australia or anything. People move away or people just don't care. They can't be bothered with the hassle of cleaning it all out. And the thing is, there's some money's worth of stuff in there. And it is. It, it's not even that though, it's the sentimental value. These That's what does it, innit? It's mm. the sentimental stuff, the photos. But do these people just not give one about the families? I would. I don't know these people, I want to keep them. Yeah. I want to keep the photos and look after them. So, anyway. 
Oh, before I forget, a good friend of the channel. Um, so we've we've got a friend that has been a subscriber for a very, very long time and it's there, her kid's 12th birthday, Dougie and Shayla. So yeah, you've anytime you want anything from us, give us a shout. You've been there for a very long time. Your mum is amazing. So yeah, just wanted to say hi. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a great day. So anyway, we're gonna get off. We've got two and a half hours drive. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's not too bad actually. That's it could have been a lot worse. We're a long way from home, but it's we're not too late. Well, it would have been a bit early if we had to have a little stop off. Yeah, we had to stop have a stop off for uh, to fit me something. But we'll talk about that another time. It's if never we, gonna happen, is it? Yeah, that didn't fit. Didn't fit. It didn't fit me. We need we need a bigger one. Anyway, we'll leave that to your imagination and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.